Hey y'all, it's Carmen with Real Life Real Wife, and I am here to do a how-to video. Well, I've actually done a tutorial on this before um, for Miss Lorraine Barton. Now, before I get started, first I want to say this how-to video came about because I was on Susan Tootsie's Tucker's first live. Yay! Congratulations, girl. Now, I do have my camera a little closer to me than I normally would, and I know I'm a loud talker. So, hashtag forewarn, you might want to turn your volume down. But before I do the tutorial, and yes, this may be a long video... I cut all my nails down. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's been horrible. And Jenny Craft Creations, if you, you know, girl, when you start clipping your nails down, it's it's not fun. It's very uncomfortable when you're used to long nails. Now, I'm rambling. So, what I'm going to do is I've had a huge, huge blessing and I cannot wait to share this with y'all. I have been dying to share this with y'all. And I've been trying to figure out what video am I going to do. And yeah, I kind of shied away from YouTube for this week. But, thank you, Susan, for making me come back and do another video. So, with that being said, I'm going to do a happy mail first from Aunt. Shout out, y'all. If y'all do not know her, Lisa Douglas. She is so freaking sweet, y'all. We have been messaging email back and forth and back and forth and back and forth for quite some time. And I had not realized how much I can appreciate her talent. And with that being said, I told her Actually, I was wanting to buy a product from her. And one of the products, um, y'all know, you know your girl Carmen. I'm all about bling, right? Yeah, well, diamond painting has been a thing of mine that I have wanted to do. I want to do a diamond painting, number one. But not only just a diamond painting... I want to do a freaking elephant to go in my Alabama craft room. But, with that being said, that does not mean I don't appreciate other things. Now, I realize I'm chatting like I always do. And I need to get into the how-to video. So, if I chat a little too much and you want to skip forward so that you know... With the how-to, it's going to be about die-cutting cupcake liners. We all have them. We all love them. So, with that being said, you can go from your typical cupcake liner... To your die cut liner. And I will show you that here soon. But first. She sent me this. And like I said. This was after several messages. And I've got her happy mail packages. Getting ready to go out Friday actually. But she beat me to the punch. Which most of y'all do. Because I'm slow at shipping. But she said. Happy late birthday. Happy late Merry Christmas. Happy late New Year's. Happy late Valentine's Day. But... Happy St. Patrick's Day. And most of all, happy Mel. Hope you like your YouTube friend, Lisa Douglas. Girl, I don't like. I am like head over heels in love. And you know that already because we've talked. So I've got this here. But look, y'all. OMG, her diamond painting. Do you see that gorgeousness? I am just like, y'all know I love my blue, and it is bling, blue and bling, and then it's got this burgundy red book in here, it's white, so I can hang it up in my craft room, y'all, I'm so excited, look at the white candle, look at all that sparkle, oh my gosh, I'm so in love, 
I cannot wait to hang this up in my craft room. Sweetheart, thank you for this gift. Now, with that being said, I saw this one that she had done as well. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I saw this one and I thought of a precious lady who has inspired me, who I know without a doubt loves owls. And so she had multiples, uh, uh, more than one of these. And I'm like, oh, no, please tell me, please tell me how much you want to want me to purchase it. I got PayPal, I got Venmo, I got, you know, Facebook. Just tell me, I want to pay you for this. And she wouldn't let me. So guess what? She may not let me, but I will make it up in her Happy Meal package. <laughs> one way or another, because... I did not, here's the thing, I don't want, if I see something, now this is for me, this I do want to keep, because I think it will match my room, because I think it's cute, because I think she did an amazing job, but, you sending me something for me is one thing, if you know something like this, and I let her know, this one is absolutely my idea to send a Happy Mail package out for a friend. I refuse, absolutely refuse to take a Happy Mail package out for somebody else. So I will pay for it or I will pay back. That's my rule of thumb. So with this one being said, it is gorgeous and I hope... Who I send this to Happy Mail in will love it and appreciate it. Whether or not I may put it in a frame, I don't know yet. But either way, Lisa, sweetheart, you're getting paid for that one. Now, I was watching Susan Tuxie Tucker tonight with her first live, and I'm so excited for her. So, what I'm going to do is we got on the conversation about how. I do not, let me see, got pink, got that, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab so many of y'all, and I've picked these up for me and a friend. Um, Y'all have seen these, or probably hauled. So I'm going to start off with how I actually, Susan show tonight, how she cuts out the middle. Well, I'm going to show how I do not. Usually, I take a tool like this. Or, I've got the cheaper one. That a friend gifted me when I first started paper cutting. And this actually comes. Let's see if you can see that tip. And then this tip is bigger. And it's angled. This actually comes from Harbor Freights, right? Well, I had a friend who was a locksmith. So, y'all see these. And so, I use something like this or I use something like this. And these come from Hobby Lobby during the spring clearance along with the pink. Now, the gold, I did get the gold and I I did get the gold, and I did get the silver, or silver and gold. I'm trying to remember where I got them from. I'm not sure if it was Dollar Tree back in the fall, or it might have been Hobby Lobby. But I'm, I would almost bet it was one of the two. Maybe even Walmart with the silver. I'm not sure. I'm just being honest with you. So, with that being said, now we've got the teal, we've got the pink, there was blue, there was um, so many colors, and I want to go back and see if I can find them, but I've got these, and these are from Dollar Tree. I've got the pink, which are right here, also from Dollar Tree, and like I said, they had blue, they had green, they had turquoise, they had a dark pink, the light pink, and I will go back and check to see if they have them. Now, I already did the pink, so I'm going to show you how I do the teal. This is Dollar Tree, so it's not heavy duty, 
Susan, oh my gosh, she had some amazing cupcake liners. So I basically take a simple tool, whether it's this. If you've got nails, you can do nails too, but not everybody does. So this is my go-to tool. And I hold it, and I basically draw a circle. And I keep doing this until it starts collapsing. Collapsing. All right. Now see, this side is going in before. So I'll push this one back up because that's just, if I'm creating it, I want a volcano effect. So, and I realize this is going to keep doing that. So, I'm going to let it do what it's got to do because sometimes when it comes to this kind of thing, it's going to do whatever it's got to do. I will still manipulate it. I do not go in with scissors and cut. But when I do, I will show you why I do it. So, at this point, it's done collapsed. And it's going the way it's going. So, as you can see, this is kind of... Let's see. Can you see how this kind of went... It started out round, and this side kind of went oblong. Well, I'm going to push it up. I don't always do this, and I'm going to show you in just a minute why I don't. Because metallic is much easier than paper. So now you see, it's pretty round. But if you have OCD, this will freak you out because it's not exactly round. See how it comes in here and then it goes back out and then it goes back in and then it goes back. Okay, for the most part, this is not bad. For the most part. And I do not squish and mush around the side. I only do that in the middle. And the reason why I do that in the middle is to get it flat. But you see how it's kind of... Um, I'm trying to see what y'all see. See how it's kind of lifting up right here? That's the only time. And I just kind of smooth it out very lightly. Okay. I'm talking too much. And I know this video is going to be long. So, with that being said, I've got this one. I've got, and these are both Dollar Tree. See how they turned out totally different? Okay. Well, here's what I do. Let me move some of the stuff around because I grab my dies. Now, usually I go to the flower. Ugh, excuse my nails. I'm trying to pick this up is not always the key. I go to my die cutter and my dies. And usually I go to the floral. And these are the two floral. This one goes right in the middle there. And this one goes around like that one. So I pick the two that I like. That I think I can get, get the biggest floral on. Or the flower on. And then I go to my manual die cutter. Okay. Now my manual die cutter is a quick cut. Now my quick cut. Yes, I just dropped my pick tool, or whatever you want to call it. So, my quick cuts, it's obsolete. Yay, my son, and um, his girlfriend, she actually works at Hobby Lobby, and I just found a new electronic machine, or she did for me. Um... And I'm supposed to be picking up that up this weekend, and I will share that with y'all in my future hauls. But, okay, so here's, see the difference? These are the, the dies. I like, I would rather use the big one, but not every time it works. So, this is the one, I use the bigger one, sometimes the smaller one has to work. Now, I'm going to take my metallic. 
I'm going to lay it down. Yes, I'm going to have to guesstimate because the way my die cutter works, it has to face up, not down. So I have to guesstimate that the middle of this is going to be in the middle. Oh, stuck to me. In the middle of my, my die cut, my machine. So I'll push it in. I feel it. I run it through. I apologize. I know this is not the best view, but at the same time, you know how your machine works. And I know that most of y'all do not have the same machine that I do because I picked this one up on. Yep, there went another project falling. Um, I picked this one up on Facebook Market for $40. Now, I take the outer liner. Yes, I throw it away. Because I'm, unless you can give me a tip on how, what to do with this. Sorry, y'all. Don't cringe. I know, I know, I know. Wasting anything is just a sin. But, it is what it is. So, I'm going to move that aside. And I'm sorry about my mat being all crooked. So, basically, I got the die cut, right? That's what I do. Not all the time. See how this metallic one, it's pretty centered. So I can go with the big circle and it's going to cover it up. I could do a scallop and it's going to cover the center up as well. Or I can even, because this one worked out so well, I might... Mm, no, there's some edge. I could. I could get away with that teeny tiny one. If I glued it exactly right. See what I'm saying? But, no. This one turned out pretty good. Do you see how wop-sided that one, the center of this one is? Compared? Do you think I care? No, I don't. I'm going to actually grab this one. No. Because the reason why is... Although it's off, guess what I'm going to do? I'll edge it out right there. Now, I'm going to pull it down, and I'm going to show you. Let me actually show you on the map. This one is way over here. This one's centered here, and I did not get the center on my die cut. Yep, I'm going to... Barely put it on the edge there. And when I glue it down and I push it, that looks pretty good. I just move it and manipulate and then nobody sees it in the middle. Now here, oh my gosh, this one is pretty freaking good. So it's like, boom, easy to do. Oops, easy to do. Now, I could also leave it and not do a die cut and put something in the middle and then I could do that. Which is fine with me. But having something that big, when it's the big cupcake liners, I don't like it. The little ones, I don't mind. So I will take this one. I will put it right in the center. And that's cute. If I was to glue it, I can, you know, turn it, manipulate it to where I feel like it looks good on my project or whatever. But I'm not the big. Now, if I wanted to go bigger, I could go really bigger and have more of my center and then have another center and I could really stack it up and layer it. But my biggest thing is. The little ones, I'm usually okay with because they're pretty symmetrical. It's the big ones that I struggle with. Even if I was to go a bigger one, even though this is pretty symmetrical, it's so huge, which is why I like to turn it from this 
to this. See what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. This just seems to suit. Even if I wanted something smaller and just do a, you know, a smaller circle, still. I mean, that's a massive compared to that. And then that is also a good thing for an OCD girl. Now, with that being said, I'm going to do one more thing and then I'm going to let y'all go. Here's my gold, and I swear if I could remember, I think it was, honestly, I do really think that the metallic in the silver was a two-pack, and it came from Hobby Lobby on a 30 or 40% clearance in their baked goods. I just, don't hold me to that word, because um, it could have come from Walmart, too, but with this one... No, this is the one I wanted to show y'all. Susan was referring to the fact she had got some cute, cute, cute cupcake liners. And with that, she loved the center because there was a little Easter Bunny. Well, I love this center. But I love, love this whole gray with the pink trim. Because of this. Now, if I could get them in the smaller ones, I would. But because this was a center, let me see if I can find it. Here you go. I did a haul on this, and I thought it was so cute. And it says, Happy Easter. It has the floral rounded. Then it has the gray gingham and the pink trim. Y'all, I love it so much. I wish I could get them in the tiny ones. This size. Because I would feel better about it. But... I wasn't able to. So, if I die cut this, guess what's going to happen? All that pink trim is going to go away. Now, maybe I could die cut it and do my glitter pink stickles with it. <laughs> Who knows? But, I love the center also. So, what I did was I cut one. I cut that one. And I squished that one. And yeah, maybe you think it's a waste. So I could either go straight on with that. Or I could put it on a harder one. Glue it on. And then, you know. Um, well, this is a round punch. But a scallop punch it. You know what I'm saying? I could do that. So that I could have a thicker base. And then glue that right in the center. And what do y'all think? Yeah. See, that whole not being perfect center. <laughs> that's my issue. So, we'll see what I do with these when I get ready. But, I just wanted to share that, yes, I understand the cutting out. And, yeah, I can squish these in and make it. Uh, I just can't make it a perfect circle. And, that's what drives me crazy. And, exactly why I love the die cuts because it doesn't matter if the center's perfect. I can have my center thing um, and then it looks perfect. <laughs> and I have to, don't have to ignore it. All right, y'all. I have, I know I have ran my mouth and ran my mouth, so I'm done. I hope you've watched this whole entire video. I hope you appreciate it. This is my how to. And I apologize, but wait tomorrow. I'm going to upload this one tonight. Cross fingers. Hoping. And then I'll have a haul and my shout out Sunday for tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I love y'all. Congratulations, Susan. Wish y'all all the best.